and thank you for reading my article in this month's Envision magazine. Now, as promised, I wanted to give you guys uh, a little walkthrough of the incentive-driven goal planning that we use here at Spexy and kind of give you a few examples of the best way to utilize this. Jumping right in, you'll notice that for the entire year that it has six different focuses that you have throughout the year. The reason why is because we want to give your team two months to be able to implement this new uh, way of thinking, this new strategy of you know whatever your focus is and to really make it a habit because once your team is able to make it a habit, then you have a really good opportunity to be able to move on to something else and not have them drop off on that one focus from the previous month. And since we're in March now, you might go, well, we have to wait till next year because we don't have January, February. Not true. This is meant for you to use every single year and you can jump in this month or you can go ahead and start next month, however you would like. But the whole idea is to make sure that you are doing two months at a time for any of your focus driven goals. So on the first page, you want to enter in what you your focus is going to be for those two months. So maybe one is your anti-reflective treatment percentages. And then maybe another one is your new patients. How are you guys going to go about getting new patients on there? Uh, maybe another one is you want to move people from plastic or poly into Trivex. So maybe that's going to be your big push. Maybe another one is your sunglasses. Maybe that includes Plano and prescription suns. And then maybe you want to do uh, multiple pair sales, right? Really focus on multiple pair sales for two months to see what your team can do. And then maybe another one is not necessarily optically related, just something that your office has a metric on that you can grow with. So maybe for one of them, you want to do something like a, a retinal imager, like an Optimap and, uh, you know, selling that in your office because you have statistics on that from the past. If you grow that, what would that look like for your office? So that brings us to the next section. Now, I love this quote, knowledge is having the right answers, intelligence is asking the right questions, because this is something that's really, really important because so many people in leadership and optical will come to me and say, well, Kayla, we tried to set up this goal and it didn't work out. It's a problem. Mary didn't do her job or so-and-so didn't pull their weight or um, you know, so-and-so got upset because so-and-so got a higher incentive than they did. Well, I personally think that everything should be set on a team basis. This is a really great opportunity to have everyone on the team take part, not just the sales team and, and the optical. Because if you think about it, every position in your office can absolutely kill a sale. Therefore, every position also has an opportunity to actually complete a sale and to, to help a sale thrive. So if you have your front desk person on board with you with um, being able to you know, get more anti-reflective treatment and they're empowered with the knowledge of what anti-reflective treatment does. And when a patient comes in and they say, yeah, I don't love my glasses because I have so much glare at night, they can say, oh my gosh, we have this anti-reflective treatment that we're using and uh, you should definitely talk with the opticians about it because not only is it really fabulous with helping with your glare, but it also is really great with preventing scratches. So um, I'll make sure and put it on your chart so that they know to talk to you about it because it's really fab. Great. And then if the patient has it, awesome. Maybe they just need a better one. If they don't have it, awesome. The freaking front desk person just sealed the deal for you. Now the rest of this is pretty self-explanatory. The biggest thing that I want you to focus on is completely understanding, you know, you have, I don't know, let's say a hundred anti-reflective treatments that you guys have done in the past year, um, every month consecutively. Okay, let's just make it easy on ourselves. And let's say you want 10% growth. So that would put you at 110 um, anti-reflective treatment sales, okay? And maybe your, maybe your percentage is higher. Whatever your percentage of growth that you're wanting is, make sure to give your team an actual number to be able to run a metric on. Okay, because once you have an actual number, it will allow for them to statistically in their head you know, track how they are doing. And also in one of our previous months with um, Envision Magazine, we had um, a goal tracker to actually um, have your team be able to track the monthly goals that you guys have in place. So make sure and check that out if you need to. But the rest of this is pretty self-explanatory. The biggest part is make sure to come up with a statistical number, like an actual whole number, not just a percentage, and then make sure and come up with the incentive value. Sometimes it's monetary, sometimes it's not. Sometimes maybe you guys are having a really awesome sunglass sale and you tell everyone that they can get a Plano set of sunglasses if they hit the goal for that month. Oh my gosh, that's super awesome. So make sure and have everything detailed out and make sure and have 
every sort of um, kind of in, the ins and outs, right? The little asterisks that you would normally have on, on a deal. Make sure that you have that all laid out for your team before actually implementing this new um, goal-driven strategy and incentive to the team because if you get it right, I'm telling you, you will no longer have a team that's unmotivated. They will actually be really excited to perform. So go ahead and get started and I will see you next month for April's Envision Magazine. See you.